Carolina is one of the southern states, one of the most sought after states to live in. The popular North Carolina areas include Charlotte, Winston-Salem, Raleigh, and Asheville, which have all seen a 20% population growth or more since the 2010 census. So why are so many people moving to North Carolina? I'm gonna give you 10 reasons right now. Number 10, quality of education. From the first grade all the way to a college degree, we generally have quality schools across the board in North Carolina. The average SAT score is above the national average and you'll find good public schools, charter, magnet, private schools, or whatever else you're looking for. You'll find it here for yourself or for your kids. And when you get up in the Triangle area, which is Raleigh, Durham, and Chapel Hill, you have the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, Duke, and North Carolina State University. Now, there are a bunch of smaller schools in the Triangle as well, but generally speaking, you find really good colleges and universities in this part of North Carolina. Number nine, it's a good place to get your drink on. The beer scene here in North Carolina has been steadily growing with Raleigh, Durham, Asheville, and Charlotte becoming notable brewery hubs, but the entire state has breweries, and we also have the largest number of craft breweries in the state. And it's not just beer. Look at the wine. North Carolina's climate is ideal for winemaking, but prohibition set North Carolina back, and now we're playing catch up with over 100 wineries making their wine from North Carolina grapes. Number eight, the climate. North Carolina is a four season state, so you'll never feel like you're stuck in a one weather pattern state like Florida, where it seems to be like summer, nine months a year, and then you get a fall for like a couple days. And a lot of the other states in the South only seem to have summer. I mean, it's not really true, but it sure does seem like it. In North Carolina, the leaves change colors in the fall while the sun still warms up in the winter and you get some snow. It's not a crazy snow like Maine or New York, but we do regularly get some snow as you get closer to the mountains. And it doesn't get as humid as Florida or Louisiana, but it's still humid and hot in the summer. Like I said, you do get all four seasons here. Number seven, the economy. North Carolina was thriving prior to the pandemic and hadn't really done bad compared to some of the other states. In fact, North Carolina is considered to be one of the best places to live and work in the United States due to its solid job market and the education system. Now, technology jobs are still doing better than most, but during normal times, they were really doing great. So it should be no surprise that North Carolina has one of the healthiest economies in the country because we have a highly educated and skilled workforce, thanks in part to the major universities found in the Triangle. So that makes it easy to see why college graduates and professionals with families like to settle down here. Some of the Fortune 500 companies Companies that call this state home include Bank of America, Duke Energy, Lowe's, Honeywell, International Paper, and Advanced Auto Parts. Charlotte, which is home to Bank of America, is considered the second largest banking center in the nation. So if you're into, say, banking or finance, it's probably not a bad place for you to live. Number six, the great outdoors. North Carolina has it all. We have the Atlantic beaches on the East Coast with plenty of woodland areas and the Blue Ridge Mountains on the western end of the state. If you get a chance to hike Whitewater Waterfalls, it's the highest waterfall east of the Rockies. And Mount Mitchell, elevation 6,684 feet, is the highest peak in North America east of the Mississippi River. Now there are hundreds of waterfalls in the Tar Heel State. You'll enjoy plenty of fishing and hunting in North Carolina if that's your thing, as well as a plethora of trails for hiking and mountain biking, which are really big in North Carolina. And my favorite part of North Carolina, hands down, is our beaches and coastline that run from Oak Island on the South Carolina border all the way up to Corolla, which is adjacent to Virginia Beach. And the Pamlico Albemarle Sound is the second largest saltwater estuary in North America, spanning some 30,000 square miles, which is about half the size of the Chesapeake Bay. I'll tell you our coastline is extremely diverse and large enough to keep you entertained and amazed for a lifetime. Number five is the cost of living. Now I'll tell you for sure, it's gonna be more expensive to live in the metro areas of North Carolina like Raleigh and Charlotte than the majority of North Carolina. But the overall cost of living index for the state of North Carolina is about 5% lower than the national average. While that might not sound like a lot, Keep in mind, North Carolina is a really nice state. 
that people really do want to live in. And while the cost of groceries and utilities are just slightly lower than the national average, they aren't cheap either. But considering the fact that North Carolina is a nice place to live, it's really not all that bad. Number four is things to do. Now I realize not everyone wants to go mountain biking, hiking, camping, fishing, hunting, or kayaking. And some people like to relax and enjoy being entertained. And North Carolina has you covered. This is a state that's big on sports. We've got the Carolina Panthers, the Carolina Hurricanes, and the Charlotte Hornets, as well as the minor league baseball and tons of college football, basketball, and baseball. North Carolina is really big on all those things for the sports enthusiasts, as well as motorsports. This is a place that's big into NASCAR. They have a few races every single year and a bunch of NASCAR teams are headquartered in North Carolina. After you get past all the sports, you have zoos, museums, and historical sites. And of course, a lot of history went down in North Carolina, from pirates like Blackbeard to the Wright brothers making their first flight in Kitty Hawk, where you can find a really nice aviation museum today. You should check it out. Number three, healthcare. Now, North Carolina is home to several nationally ranked hospitals and world renowned academic medical centers like Duke University Hospital in Durham, that's considered one of the best teaching hospitals in the country. Duke's ranked ninth for children's specialties and tenth for adult specialties. Looking back to November of 2021, the average price for a home in North Carolina was just under $278,000. So this price is now a bit understated, but represents a 23.8% year-over-year increase compared to the national median home price, which is around $392,000. Looking back at the Raleigh area or Wake County, the median home price is going to be around $450,000. So you can expect to pay more to be in the metro areas. But commute times and proximity to grocery stores, retail, restaurants, and things to do are going to be much less. And I do want to mention that housing across the state looks completely different and to a large degree depends on if you're in a rural area or a metro area. So while we have suburbs in Raleigh, Grantsboro, for example, that's about two hours to the east of Raleigh, has farms. If you want to see what it's like to live two hours to the east of Raleigh in eastern North Carolina, you should check out this video that shows you what it's like to live on a farm that's nestled between a couple thousand acres of farmland. All right, before we get to number one, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the little bell. You'll know when I upload again and leave me a comment and give the video a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. All right, on to number one. And number one, it's the people. It's the people and their hospitality when you think of North Carolina. You think of that Southern charm, and we North Carolinians have tons of it. People in general are polite, they're nice, but don't get me wrong, there's some mean ones, but that's everywhere. Every place has its share of jerks, but I'm talking about on average, North Carolinians are known for being hospitable and easy to get along with. But you know, now that I've said that, I'm sure we're gonna get some people that say they're probably sitting in New York or California when they put down, don't come to North Carolina because it's full. I promise you, most of the people you run into in North Carolina would be happy to have you here. It's a great state and the people, I would say, are the best part. All right, that's today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got some good information out of it. Now, if you're thinking about moving to North Carolina, be sure to give me a call, shoot me an email or send me a text and I'd be glad to help you if I can. And I'll see you on the next one.